My name is Felicia Casper. I'm a teacher at Otero Elementary School in Harrison School District 2 in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I was so to thank Jeremy Klein, Ranking Member Miller, and other members of the committee for allowing me the opportunity today to address the committee and the bills they have put forward to reauthorize the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. It's both an honor and privilege as an ordinary citizen to have the opportunity to possibly encourage innovation in the way our students will be educated. Let me say for the record that I love my job. Teaching is not for everyone, and especially when you are working for a district like Harrison School District 2, which holds you accountable. Our district has implemented an evaluation system that not only evaluates our effectiveness as teachers, but expects us to produce results in regard to student learning while compensating us for our hard work. In the last five years, Harrison has stepped up to the challenge that now faces many Americans in this room today. Should teacher evaluation be linked to student achievement results? At Harrison School District 2, teacher effectiveness is measured by formal and informal observations, written summative, and ongoing spot observations. Our administrators provide feedback, coaching, and professional development to improve teacher effectiveness. The teacher's results are divided into eight weeks per content area. Another teacher, depending on the grade and content, will have assessments that reflect achievement in their content area. The district did not have to compensate teachers. It chooses to do so. The more effective I am, the more students achieve, and the more money I can potentially earn. If a teacher is deemed ineffective, then the administrator has decisions to make about training, remediation, and removal. I believe that what makes our district system work is that all teachers have been given an opportunity to help in creating our evaluation system. I was asked by our superintendent to sit down with him and other art teachers as non-core subject teachers to create a system by which we could be effectively evaluated. How can I take issue with a system that I myself have been asked to help create? I have been given a voice, and for that I'm grateful. I'm a supporter of the Encouraging Innovation and Effective Teachers Act and the direction that the Act is going because it requires districts to design teacher evaluation systems around broad parameters while giving the districts the flexibility they need to create a system that works for their needs and their students and staff. When districts make student achievement data a significant part of their teacher evaluation process, they help teachers to better understand the power of and utilize the information gleaned from data. Our district, our administrators, and all of our teachers are daily collecting data because knowing what your students are able to do should drive effective instruction. When districts use multiple measures of evaluation in assessing teacher performance, teachers are responsible for two things, their effectiveness in the classroom and the results their students produce. Multiple measures gives us as teachers more than one way to evaluate what our students know and are able to do. Should administrators evaluate their teachers in much the same way? When districts have more than two rating categories for the performance of teachers, it gives teachers a way not only to increase their effectiveness, but also the effectiveness of those around them. When working with novice teachers this year, I have looked to our performance evaluation scale as a guideline as to how best help them achieve success for their students and for themselves. If teachers believe that they can move up the scale through improving the quality of their classroom performance, achievement scores will improve as well. When districts make personnel decisions based on evaluations, they do so to ensure that students will receive the best teaching possible provided by the most effective teachers available. In our district, if you are a proficient two teacher or above, you can be asked to change schools so as to provide effective instruction where it is most needed. When districts seek input from parents, teachers, school leaders, and other staff in the school in the development of the evaluation system, Everyone has a stake in the outcome. Our district holds accountability meetings, focus group meetings, and shareholder meetings to provide opportunities for everyone's voice to be heard. When creating a system such as Harrison School District 2 has, it is vital to reach out and invite in those who will be most impacted by the system. When so much is at stake, it is imperative that the district reach both inward and outward in order to ensure that everyone has reason to buy in. I support and am excited about the Encouraging Innovation and Effective Teachers Act because responsibility for student achievement should belong to the districts. I know that before I started working for this district, I believed I was a good teacher. I thought I'd been teaching for some time, and I knew my content area, so that must make me a good teacher. The quality of the instruction I currently present to my students is so far ahead of any teaching that I have ever done. Understanding the difference between good teaching and great teaching is what inspires me to support the Encouraging Innovation and Effective Teachers Act. 
like any other parent, I would want nothing less for my own three children than I would give to any of my students, and that is effective instruction provided to them by a teacher who has proven to get the results while at the same time creating a positive learning environment.